Hi everybody, I hope you had a good week. I have something to show you today. Of course you know what this is, ball of string. And what do we usually use string for? Well, you can tie up packages with it. Or when I was a little girl, we used to like to take two tin cans and we put a string in between them and we would pretend they were telephones. Isn't that silly? But it was fun to do. Well, I have a story today about string. And that was a ball of string, but my story is about invisible string. Now, can you imagine that, invisible string? Well, let's see what this story is about. Okay, get ready to listen. It's called The Invisible String. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, Mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleeping eyes, the twins came closer to see what Mom was holding. I was about your age when Mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I can feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. Sure she does, said Mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. Would it reach me even if I were in a submarine deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A dancer in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, Mom said. Love is stronger than anger, and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as Mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have, and all the strings their friends have, and their friends, and their friends, until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see 
No one is ever alone. And I'm going to show you that picture up closely. So I know it's difficult for you now because you can't see your friends and maybe you can't see some of your relatives, but the book is telling you that you are connected by an invisible string. And if you know somebody who has already gone to heaven, you still have that invisible string connected to that person in heaven. And of course you have the invisible string that's connected to God. I hope you have a good week. Remember, be good for your parents and be nice to your brothers and sisters. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you like and show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you like and show it. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then you like to shoot it, show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it Amen. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Amen. If you're happy.